Christine. Stefanos had the delight last year at the back end to win a tournament with his brother Petros, who's the team captain out here this week for Greece. They won indoors in Antwerp. Currently back just outside the world's top 100 in doubles. Petros is going well. He's inside that top 100 and seemingly playing week in, week out on the Challenger and main tour. Of course, Stefanos six in the world in singles. It's a Grand Slam finalist. Just easing his way into the match. 203, that's it. The last one was 198. So the back, it must be okay. Forty. Sam, I'm going to assume that uh, I've watched, obviously, you know, a lot of mixed doubles over the years and, and this week. The girls don't seem frustrated by power. They seem a little more worried by the heavy kick or the heavy spin yeah. of a male player. The second serve is often more of a problem. Yeah, they actually returned the first serve yeah. quite well. Um, we, we don't mind some pace. We're, we're yeah, good. and Stefanos, of course, has a little of both, doesn't he? Pace and spin. Oh. That's and a great start. Race. Greeks very much the favourite in this deciding move. Okay. Hey, job, guys. Bravo, good serve. Both these two from the tennis families. Stefano's mother, Julia, was a very good junior and played under the former Soviet Union. And of course, Angeliki Kanalopoulou, who is uh, Maria's mother, top 50 on the tour. Genetic engineering, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, and those and the mums, when because they're off, these two are often based in Monaco. The mums have hit, have a hit. How nice. Yeah, but both tennis family and particularly Tsitsipas with Petros and Pavlos and Elsaveta all playing. And what about the Greek diaspora? Pete Sampras, Nick Kyrgios, the Nasi Kakanakis. They spread all over the world. Like, like sunscreen. But they produce good tennis players wherever they go. That's a very good point. Let's introduce you to Thomas Barrios Vieira, born in Santiago and very much developed in his home country. He's standing at a career high. He's just on the threshold of the world's top 100 in singles. He represented Chile at the Summer Olympics in Tokyo. And Wally, Chilean tennis is a story I'm afraid of men's tennis, isn't it? Of fantastic male players. Hasn't been quite the same story uh, in the moment. His idol is Fernando Von Gonzalez, yeah. the big, swarthy, huge hitting. Uh, One of the biggest forehands yeah. you'll ever see. Yes, <laughs> even and now. Rugged competitors, Nicolas Massu and Gonzalez. I had a bit of a brain fade a moment ago. Rios was from Chile, right? Yes, it was. Ooh, and there's a hint. Maybe she hasn't played a lot of doubles because she was not looking for the volley. And Jaime's generation, actually, it was a very good generation. They, they had Papa Cone uh, Pato Coneco, Pato Rodriguez, and Patricio Ape. That's right. Who coached Sab Gabriel Sabatini for many years. So they, there was a very good, there's a very good nucleus of male tennis. Can we put that down to a male-dominated society, perhaps, where it wasn't encouraged for the women to play tennis in that generation? I spoke to Petros earlier. He said it's going to be a very calm, easy, laid-back captain. We shall see. <laughs> Might be hard to do in this mixed. Let's pass it. Oh, yeah. 
These two undefeated in mixed doubles. They're going to be tough out there. Doubles, modern mixed doubles, of course. The exciting point. As his doubles is just predicated by the power from the back of the court. So you can see both players for Team Greece just shredding balls from behind the baseline. That one maybe just clipping the net on the way through. Tough to defend against. Just a quick heads up on the format here. There will be just one deciding point at Juice. It'll be receiver's choice. Hold on. One game on. And if they split sets, one apiece, there will be a 10 point super tie break. So good start team Greece, for Maria both Spakari. teams here. Two serves. Got him. Fair game. Nice cross there. Love 50. Crossing this ball about timing. You've got to wait till your opponent commits and then move forward across and just about head height. Perfect. That's a pretty good tag. I like it. As a player, you don't mind that. That's fair. You you don't like it when they've got all sorts of options and they just line you up. That's where you can get a little heated. Lot 13. So Team Greece, early spot of trouble. Sorry, eight in singles. It was a few years ago, top 200 in doubles, but has never really played too much on the tour. Fifteen. But Wally, how about this? In every single time going to deciding mix, you couldn't you couldn't write the script, no. could you? No, I like it. Real tension. Barrios Vera from the back of the court, he doesn't overplay, he just puts it in tough positions. 15, 14. Doesn't make mistakes. And he allowed his partner then to get involved. There it is, just good depth, good weight of shot. And there's the gap down the so, middle. So, little opening here for Team Chile. Wonderful play Team from the Chile. underdogs, and it's an early break in this first set. Team Chile leads two games to one. Very measured, wasn't it? Nothing outrageous. Just hitting their spots, waiting for the right opportunity. These two combine really well. We've enjoyed watching Daniela Sigel. Uh, the last few days. This is not only just about the tennis, though. It's also about all the activities. You're in a great city that the players can do. And the Greeks, I think the day after that they arrived, they were out at the 
Taronga Zoo with fabulous views of uh, the bay and the harbour. Don't see too many of those in the wild, so you have to go to the zoo to get uh, a chance to have a look at them. But uh, it's, a, it's a wonderful spot, and I hear that you can stay the night as well. That might be a bit scary. But... Yeah, that is correct. Functions. Leighton Hewitt had his wedding reception there. Did he? Yes. Were you obviously there? And, and Johnny Farnham sang. Do you, are you familiar with Johnny yeah, Farnham? Yeah, John Farnham, yeah. And he did a rendition of ACDC's Long Way to the Top if you want to rock and roll, and it was unbelievable. He said, I wish I'd written this song. Because, of course, everyone in the music industry has had a journey. Time. He said, I would wish I'd written this song, and he just ripped into it. It was unbelievable. But anyway, that's a little aside. And it all happened at Taronga Zoo. Is it amazing? Two seconds. I used to sponsor an animal there. I've lapsed. Come on, Wally, which animal, well, was it? Just, it was which a, animal well, is not being fed at the moment? Yeah, well, that's right. I feel responsible. Look, to be fair, it was probably my wife that was... Do you remember what... Who chose the animal? Was it a little fluffy koala? I think it was something cute, yeah. Mm -hmm. Survival of the cutest. <laughs> it's really important to remember that every game set, it all counts here because the, the teams could be very even. They could all come... They could all, when all is said and done in this group, they could all have one win each, one win of a tie each, and then we'll be on count back. And percentage of games won, percentage of sets, it all goes into the mix. It looked as if there was no way through for the Greeks. 13, 13. Well, I was just about to compliment Team Chile on just being rock solid, playing the right shot, not overplaying, just asking the question. And finally, it was probably the toughest shot that she'd faced. Zachary, she comes up with the best shot. Now, that is great improvisation, good skills. Chileans have an early break here. Two very tall men on court. Sigel, excuse me, Barrios Vera. Well over six foot three, as is uh, Stefano Sitsipas. He's a pretty big frame, Barrios Vera. He stands up to that forehand nicely from Titipas. Doesn't do much with his racket. Just blocks the ball back, doesn't overplay. 26 years of age, playing the best tennis of his life. And what an opportunity for the debutants here. Play the percentages, they understand the geometry of the doubles court. 
No question. Thank King you. Greece has a little more flair. Thank you. A little more firepower. Might come down to their execution. Love 30. Well, last time Stabalos was on the match court was uh, in Turin at the Nitto ATP finals back in November, and he played a couple of games against Holger Rune, and that was the end of his year. Fair enough to expect a little rust from the Greek. Almost looking a little sheepish there, just a pure reflex. And we were talking about all the little intangibles that can help you on the singles court, and there it is. Find a way, figure it out. Thirty, fifteen. If you're in this Ken Rosal Arena on what is a really hot and humid afternoon, I hear a few thunderstorms might be underway in a, underway in a couple of days' time. Not unusual this time of year. Forty, fifteen. Team Greece, and they stay in touch, but a breakdown in this opening set. Team Chile leads three games to two. Do you play a lot of mix, Sam? Did you have a regular partner? I played a, a lot of mix as a junior, actually, so I really enjoy it. But I'm still very good friends with a lot of my mix, former mixed doubles partners. Who were a lot better play. than me because it wasn't it's exactly great, but she makes the ball back. Just <laughs> it, okay? ripping it too well at 11 and 12, and they were a lot better. My coach had a, quite a stable of players, and and they had to they had to play. They were told to play mixed with me, even though I wasn't very good. But it really helped me. Yeah. And then I'd play, you know, at some of the slams as well. I was I was enjoyed. It. I preferred it to women's doubles. And of course, back in Hamley Field today, that's what they did as an automatic singles, doubles, and mixed week in, week out. This is the second edition of the United Cup. Day four here in uh, Sydney, a fabulous newish team event where the men and women play on the same team, and it's decided so often by a mixed doubles where they are side by side. Some very good attendances. Uh, over the new year. Time. And it certainly feels as if the, the Greek community has come together here on this wonderful stage. At the moment, though, it's the Chileans who are in the driving seat. It's a shame. Well, Stefanos is back, getting a, a real workout. Good reaction there from Barrios Vera to stay alive in good hands. Sigel 
Just fighting to keep herself in the point. Ultimately, just unable to control the forehand. Let's. From City Pass. That's a good sign, though, early on, 20 minutes, isn't it? 20 minutes in. It's going to be very competitive between these two teams to decide this tie. Fifteen, he looks sharp, Stefanos, which is good. I mean, we're desperate to see him have a good Aussie summer. Finalist last year in 2000, 20, 2023, of course. Team Chile, very good. Just They just pummel the volleys, pummel a lot of the ground shots. Just down the centre of the court, almost create a little bit of indecision in their opponents, not taking too many risks. Yeah, it's landed again. And a chance right here to get the break back. Curry, who was broken in her opening service game. She's got a chance to redeem, redeem herself right here. Let's I'd be inclined to go something high and heavy as a first serve. Take it out of a strike zone. Get it up above shoulder height. Get a slightly weaker reply. With pace. It's okay, yes. you've got another shot here. These Two sudden deaths. So once again, Barrios at uh, the end of the service game he goes to a deciding point. It will be it's a pass to take it. Great to have him up on the court. There was a lot of uh, rumour that maybe it would be Petros, the playing captain, that would be by Maria's side. This is a real bonus. Okay. And that's a great hold on. Once again, Chile take the deciding point. 4 2, and they've won two sudden death points. Just shows In how. Chile leads. Four points games are. to two. Well, yeah, look, I learned a couple of things about you and I was just having a look at this match. Obviously, you were a top 10 uh, doubles player. Um, I didn't realise you won the Australian Open boys doubles. Back yeah, I didn't day. either. I don't actually, don't actually remember that. Yeah. Who did I win it with? Cashy. I, have, I didn't look that far. Craig Miller, I can't remember. I yeah. do remember playing it. That's a long time ago, Sam. Final of the boys singles as well. You had a, you had a good... You had a good week. The thing I didn't realise, were you born in England? In Southampton. Southampton, yeah. How did that happen? I've got a British passport. We're very lucky to have you. Well, I'm one of you. Mum's Australian, Dad was Austrian. They just happened to be passing through. Mum had been teaching in the United Kingdom. And as a consequence, I was born there, but they moved back to Australia almost straight away. Okay. Game team Greece. More straightforward service game Greece. for Team Greece. Team still down a break in this four opening games to set. Three. Sam, I agree with your summation that there's a lot of tension in these mixed doubles deciders, but somehow there's more joy when it's mixed than when it's straight doubles. Why is that? I don't know. 
it's almost like both players are playing for the other player as opposed to some sort of tension when things aren't going well. It's not as much testosterone out there. Maybe. Maybe. I've watched Taylor Fritz and Jess Pagula play and it's almost like Taylor's making sure he gets it right for Jess. It's a weird sort of dynamic. It's great having young Petros as the captain. I mean, he would have grown up with Stefanos. He probably knows his game, his brother's game, better than anyone else. Yep, they would hit a lot of balls together over the years. Bit of brotherly love. Younger brother dispensing advice. Let's see if he can keep this calm, cool captaincy that he promised us at, at the start of the day. You can tension might creep into his captaincy. I think it might. <laughs> Time. Into his style of delivery. It's fair enough. Okay, new balls. Dad Apostolos on the back seat there. He is, he, he is also going to be a back seat driver, isn't he, in, in this situation? Yeah, I don't think he is going to be able to bite his tongue. No. Apostolos. Fitting. Stefanos practice uh, yesterday on one of the outside courts. It's interesting that he's hitting over those backhand returns as much because he was practicing the block return for, for hours. This this side of the court, excuse me, the forehand corner, and if you've got that single-handed backhand, I reckon that's the toughest return in the game in doubles. Oh. Trying to hit that off backhand. It's, Complicated. Big thing in doubles and mixed doubles is when you when you're the net player or the male player and you get a few crosses wrong, you can't go into your shell, you've just got to stay looking for the ball. He's a big frame. Since he passed, he's got to make his presence felt. Team Grace is requesting a review on the call on the right passer line. You're standing on, sitting on that line, Sam. How was it? It's wide. Definitely look wide from here. Ooh, 40. That's all the lines called electronically. Something that I think really bemused Jaime Fear on the first day when it wasn't quite working properly. So get low, standing up uh, really well. Crossing on the second serve points. is not easy because the serve is not quick. 1-1-3, 113 kilometers on that occasion. And it just gives the returner a chance to see out of the corner of their eye which way the net player is going. So if we're able to hold the return. It's going to be woman to woman here. I think that is the case, Sam. Yes, it is a deciding point, but it, 
it's not retriever's choice. It is, it is, excuse me, it is it woman to woman, man yeah. to man. That makes it fair. So, at last, something goes Greece goes Greece his way. We pick up a deciding point, and we are level in this first set. I'm actually more in favour of receiver's on. choice. I mean, in general play, you go where you want, hit where you want, do what you want. So I don't know why it has to be that structured on a big, big point. I mean, receiver's choice. Make that call. You, you may have a certain serve that... The female is actually yeah. returning better. Yeah. Fitting now, can the Greeks push on from here? The sense that Tsitsipas is, is only going to get his eye in the longer this match goes on. That's the way. 15 on. A little unlucky there, the net court jumping up and Stefanos, he's having a good chat with the, the crew, Team Greece. Much you can do about that, or not much they can do about that. Forty fifteen. Called off the ball there by City Pass and correctly so, just fading wide. 15 now, chance to go ahead 5-4, good turnaround. Team Grace getting in the group, and they push ahead in this opening set. Team Grace leads, five games, 2-4. Well, this uh, Greek team are very much a fun, loving team. And if you want to enjoy sitting to the fullest, that's what you've got to do. You've got to get in the water. You're some, a swimmer, aren't you, Sam? I am. There's some lovely sea pools, actually. I just uh, we opened up with a spot of uh, icebergs there. I have been severely dunked this in the exciting lane I called it uh, on the f the one nearest the sea I ended up on the other side of the pool when this huge wave came over but, uh, that's what you do you like your swimming as well Wally or yeah not in a structured you, you, way you, just... you, you've got some nice sea pools haven't you yeah Manly? just jumping in getting wet on a hot okay. day yeah I'm not a sun worshipper or I don't do laps or anything but okay. I've got a surf ski get out on top of the water I don't mind that. Okay. I'll do I'll do the laps for our mixed doubles team okay, okay. I grew up in Canberra, not a lot of waterways there. Oh. I'm going to land. <laughs> Time. Fifteen.
15. Oh. Boris Kepano, Mates. Boris Kepano. This uh, little one. Three generations on that bench. That's a lovely touch. Holding her own out here, Daniela Segel. 30, 15. was Barrios Vera thinking. He should have crushed this, like bounced it into row 15. I don't know, cute. So watch this. So he, he, can, he can bury this into about the service line. And look, he just eases up. Pays the price. Oh, no. And now they're in so much trouble. And it's set point to Team Greece. Now well, quickly things can go right. Don't forget they were a breakup. They started so well. Carlos Vera has struggled through both the service games so far in the set, and another battle here. Here's the starting point. Third deciding point on the server of Barrios Vera. Yes, fourth of the set. Where does he, where does he, Well, he's where been does very he go? good at jamming Tsitsipas into the body, into the backhand hip. Still set point. Wow. Oh, my word. Chill. <laughs> Some girls suspect overheads uh, from Team Chile. Five games just on. about get the job done. So we're back level once more in this opening set. It's been a really entertaining opening 40 minutes or so. You know, I think, Sam, I think the Australian mixed doubles team might just about be the strongest in the competition. Watching them play the last couple of matches. Sharp. Both had great years. Storm Hunter and Matt Ebden. Australia finished on top of their group. They're coming to Sydney. They're not without a chance. Team Australia. That would be something, wouldn't it? It'd be big. So the cross was the right move, get involved. But he yeah, just almost too quick, overran it. All ended up coming almost towards his face. Just to take a fairly defensive posture. So the move was good, just not quite the timing. It's imperative that he goes if he passes. She's so solid from the back of the court, Sakari, that she can hold her own. Doesn't matter 
She's rallying to the male player. He can be a little judicious in his selection, but he's got to be looking. Team game, Team Greece. Team Greece. Back in front. Let's open this up. Team Greece leads. Six games to five. Having watched the mix over the years and here guys. in Hopman Cup, uh, Wally, do you wish you'd played a little more mix in your career? I played once in the Hopman Cup with Nicole Bradkey, okay. but I didn't play in the slams, so it just didn't seem to be much money in there. And if you're doing well in the singles, so good if you work left. Who would have been your dream mixed doubles partner? Um, there was a few good ones going at the time. Martina wouldn't have been bad, but uh, she probably had her eyes on bigger fish. Bigger prize. Well, not necessarily, but that would be your pick, would it? Mike? Well, I mean, she was a pretty awesome doubles player. It's a bit like in men's tennis. I mean, John McEnroe and anybody, you know, Martina and anybody would have been fairly handy. I think. Such a being a lefty, of course, always helps. And such a great volleyer, tremendous athlete, great competitor. Really knew a way around the doubles court. Funny that we talk about this receiver's choice. I did play the Hopman Cup with Nicole, and I don't think we had receiver's choice. I think it was ad back then, but I would have been very happy for her to take the return. She, she had a stellar return. She certainly did. It was Time. better than mine, I can tell you. This will be a test, won't it? It's just the momentum just seems to have shift, shifted in favour of Team Greece. Yes, again, actually was uh, pretty comfortable in the opening service game, but had to go to a deciding point in her last. Just a sense that the Greek team are starting to gel now. Good move, took her eye off the 15. ball. Chile have to win this tie to keep their hopes alive of qualifying for the quarterfinals, which will be played here a little later in the week, Thursday, Friday, semi-Saturday, and then we'll crown a champion on Sunday. That's it, 15. Once again, crossing on the really slower serve, 119 kilometers an hour. So the ball is just sitting there. If the player moves, you've almost got time to adjust your swing, make a choice when you hook it across. Look at that, it goes so early, and the ball has yet to arrive. Maybe more, better advice to just fake on the slower serve. Look at this. Stefano's getting all tied up on the first serve. 30, 30. Sigel. She beat him with the wide one. He tried to chase a forehand there. Got him into the body. Well done. First to seven. And I have to say kudos to Daniela Sogal playing far better than her ranking would suggest. Thank you. Thank you.
1-0, Team Greece. Just a reminder, the Greeks have already had a couple of set points, couldn't convert. Team mini break. Chile. Don't forget it was Team Chile that made such a good start at the beginning of this opening set. And they capitalised right here. Gotta like their approach, Four Team Chile. They don't overplay. Team Chile. They're not trying to hit the blinding winner or do anything special. Just play solidly. Wait for the opportunity to arise, keeping the unforced errors to a minimum. but I do know one thing, that was a tactical error. Five, Trying to one, club it at Barrios Vera, who was on top team of the net. Chile. Was not the play. You would always go at the moon, wouldn't you, well, in that you, situation? I reckon just pump it down the centre of the court, and then that brings Stefanos into play. Now, this shot here goes centre, but she goes back at Barrios Vera, and then he gets an even better chance here. She had to go just down the centre of the court, and then Stefanos could have loomed large. That's a big point. Look at Jerry, six foot eight. Just turned into about seven foot ten. <laughs> That's more emotion than he showed his whole three it sets of fingers. Was, it certainly was. We're getting very excited in here, the Chileans. We've got come from all parts of Sydney. This is Ken Rosewell Arena. Five to Team 
Chile. So one of the mini breaks handed back. Thank you. Thank you. Tiebreaks always been the story of the first set, hasn't it? Team Chile. Team Chile. Getting up to that early break, that early lead, and then squandering it. Couldn't really blame Sigel there. She's trying to keep it away from the, the forehand of City Pass. Okay. Yes, Vera. Two serves to come. We're back level. Five ball. Good move. That's what I'm talking about. If Sakari just keeps the ball away from the net player, it allows this to happen. He can get involved, he can look for something to happen. She's so good from the back of the court, Sakari. She doesn't need to take too many chances. Just be solid, cross court. Sigel is not about to go. Oh you see that a lot. The slightly miss hit return in an awkward position. Six, it's almost better when they bang it at you, you just reflex Game the volley. Greece. Just reaching for that high backhand volley. So the Greeks a chance to redeem themselves. Two set points are already come and gone. A third presenting itself right here. Thank you. Thank you. It's the Greeks who take it and they win the opener on a breaker. It's kind of the story of the two are managing injuries. Didn't see Stefanos in the singles today. He's still struggling with a back injury from late in the season, 2023. Felix Auger Aliassime has been sidelined with some knee problems. Hopefully get to see him on court tomorrow, taking on Stefanos. Game's changed so much. There's so much firepower from the back of the court that they're always willing to take it on, smack it at the net player. In years gone by, you would have copped a clip over the ears for that play. Everyone volleyed so well, and you didn't have the firepower from the back of the court to trouble the net player necessarily. Easy pickings. Chile regrouping at the start of this second set. Second set. You need a filter when you're sitting in the team camp, don't you? You get a lot of information, <laughs> particularly if you're in the team Greece corner. A lot of voices. Can 
There's Lorena with its hat on. Looking out off the uh, yeah, strong afternoon sunshine here at Olympic Park. There it is again, going at the net player with no advantage. Just taking time away from yourself. Not a winning play, is it? Firing at the net player once again. 40, 50. So Barris Ferry, he goes straight to Zachary, who's in a really good position. And she just takes time away from them. for Stefano Tsitsipas. One game on. Service game here for Daniela Seguel. Broken in the first set. They don't mess around from the back of the court, do they, these days? Nope. Once again, I think he's just got a little more trust in Sakari just dealing. Whoa. Now that is a pure reflex. He had no idea where that was going. I have to say, Chilean men's tennis uh, really looking bright for a first time since the days of Gonzalez and Masut and Rios. Seen plenty of power from the back of the court. Previous point, we saw a drop shot from Tsitsipas, very effective on that occasion. Just a little off pace slice moving in behind it. Very hard to pass somebody when the ball bounces so low.
40, 15. Thirteen. Do very nicely, and we are on serve in the second set. Team Chile leads two games to one. Well, Sydney isn't all about uh, sun, at sea, and surf, but I'll tell you what, it's got some fantastic spots, hasn't it? That you just can't ignore. What a coastline. Have you done the little trip up to the Blue Mountains, uh, Sam? Not yet. That's uh, next on the still one for the bucket list. Very pretty part of Sydney as you head out west past Pembroke. That's Palm Beach, the very tip. I tell you what Sydney, I did before you hit the uh, pit grow, waters. Grow up watching was Home and Away. Well, filmed right yeah, there. That's where it's filmed. Yeah. How far away is that from the That'd CBD? be about, uh, without traffic, 30 to 40 minutes. Oh, so not too no, far No, not too away. far without mm -hmm. traffic. And then, yeah, that's the very end of Sydney. And there's another waterway up there called Pit Water, which in many respects is more beautiful than the harbour. And I think even bigger. Yes, I did not know. Yeah, the and it's really I'm beautiful learning. up there because the north side of Pit Water is all national parks. It's all bush yeah. and there's so many beautiful little inlets and coves. And you take your boat up there and find a little secluded spot and throw a line in and relax. Sounds wonderful. Yeah. Jump in and hope you don't get eaten by a bull shark. Yes. <laughs> There's a lot of things that can bite and sting you and burn you in this country. Fifteen. Maria broken in her opening service game, but uh, pretty secure since that time. Oh, yeah. Great hands. Can they make something happen right here? Can the underdogs just hang on? Take this into a deciding tie break. Oh! 
13. Stef another Stefanos, Stefanos Sakalaridis played very well in his singles against Nicolas Jarry. Wasn't quite enough though, so that's why we're in this deciding mix. Oh, we haven't had one of these for quite some time. Rather given away. Greece level up. Two games on. Well, five deciding points that we've had so far in the contest, and three have gone the way of the Greeks. Starting to matter these clutch moments. It's not a great feeling either. She misses that shot, and if you're playing singles, it's okay, you've missed the shot. When you miss it, you've got the partner there and the team bench there, you sort of feel this weight, like you're letting the team down. She mustn't go into her shell though, Sigal. She's played well. And there it is again. Like, go to the net player and just take time away from yourself. She's fine just to... 15. Deal with the power of Barras Vera from the back of the court and wait for a chance where maybe she can have a bit more time herself to place the ball or get Stefanos involved. Great way, though, isn't it, for Maria to get her eye in at the start of the season, have a singles earlier today. Pretty much guarantee herself four matches. Yes, because for a player of her, her ability, obviously, in ranking, the slams were not a happy time for her in 2023. There it is again, That's going to the net plan. If you did the stats, it's not a winning play this today. It's not, it's not like she's getting terribly burnt in any rally. So I don't know why she feels the compunction just to fire one at the net player. Seventy-one minutes. Uh, we've been out here on this deciding mixed. Let's And we remain on serve in this second set. Team Chile leads three games to two. Tommy Fiol in shot there. He's 77 years of age. And we've all been in this situation, Sam, where we've sat the side, the focusing on the match, the energy, the players coming in, all the same, I think, pretty draining. And he's had to sit through three matches. 
He's done a good job, has he? It's a great moment for him, isn't it? Oh, yeah. To, to lead out his country, his grandson playing, his great grandson the, playing in the crash uh, behind the court and occasionally coming out. He seems such a positive, energized figure who loves the game. And it's been tough for Daniel Seagal at her ranking in this company, but he has only ever been upbeat with her. And it seems like they're really enjoying their first experience of the United Cup. Of course, they qualify because of Nicholas's ranking. He's at top 20 in the world now. And these competitions too, you know, the, the fringe players, the number two players, some of the hitting partners, they get to experience this, which is not usual for them yes. when they're playing challenges in ITF. So it can really help in your, um, of course, in the old days, of course, Time. Davis Cup and Fed Cup used to be four times a year. So you converge as a team four times a year and get that experience. But now everything's been condensed and the United Cup is another opportunity to represent your country and for those more fringe players to experience these big moments and rub shoulders with the very best players in the world. It can only help their development. So I'm going to start taking notes once again. Fires the ball at the net player, loses the point. I'm going to be a broken record, but if they're going to persist, so am I. <laughs> okay. That's a fair deal. Try and stay calm, Petros. Sits a pass, his brother. It's two things out of this win the tie and make sure that he turns around. And the, the body is in good shape tomorrow. He's been a little 14, cautious 15. today, didn't we? Didn't see him in the singles. But a real plus for the fans that have flocked into Sydney's Olympic Park. Game team Greece. Easy pickings. And once more, Greece level again in this second set. Three games on. On paper, you would imagine it have been quite so tight with Zachary and Sitzbach's top 10 in singles. Actually, very much the underdogs are playing above themselves here now. This could be a key service game for Daniela Segel. Can she find a way through it? So big trouble for Chile here, already a set down. Got to stay, uh, try and win this to stay alive in the group and have a chance of progressing through to the quarterfinals.
Love 30, two missed returns. Just when you think Team Greece is going to kind of stamp their authority on this match, the unforced errors creep in. Yeah, the sharpness hasn't quite been there for no. them. They can make a move right now. And a chance to break. And Chilean number one for the second time in this contest. to a deciding point. It's the Greeks who've certainly got the better of the ones we've had so far. I've won three of five. So her two serves to Sakari in this game have been slower, higher, getting up above shoulder height on the backhand and allowing Barras Vera to make a nuisance of himself. Does Sakari kind of step in, try to smother this? It's a similar play, didn't get it right, just decelerated. They hang on somehow. And we remain on serve in the second set. Team Chile leads four games to three. I think that word sharp is right, Sam. They're just not sharp in this mixed so far. Team Greece, they're playing well, they're not playing badly, but there's just that little edge they don't have. I mean, they've made 24. Stairs over the course of, let's call it a set and a half. It's not always easy, though, is it, to come off the, the pre season nope. and when you've been training and, and not having live matches? And there's a lot on the line, but to me, it's almost like they're trying a little too hard, overplaying, just not falling into the rhythm. The mixed doubles match. I mean, I think, you know, if I look at great doubles teams and great doubles players over the years, mixed doubles players. Either way, it's, they just make a lot of returns. They build pressure by just making quality returns time and time again. Holding serve is something you've got to manage, and that can be done, but you've got to put pressure on the returning games. And that's probably where Team Greece has just fallen down a little bit. Like it was Love 30 there, two missed second serve returns. You make two of those, I guarantee you probably win one of those points. But then 40, everything just rolls. Lovely volley. It's classy from Seagal. They can, if they could break it, it would be very else better to serve for the set.
Yeah, she's made it. Fifteen, thirteen. And she can tell her grandkids about the day that Stefana Sitsipas tried to hustle her at the net. She just <laughs> fired a forehand down the line. She's played well above her ranking, hasn't she? She has. It's elevated her. 15-30. Oh, now there's a chance. 15-14. Thank you. Thank you. We've had a couple of deciding points in the set that haven't gone their way, Chile. The opportunity is here to get the break. How quickly things can change. Zachary is broken for the second time in the contest, and it will be Barrios Piedra. Five games the time level this tight. I wasn't aware there was that many Chileans in well, Sydney. They are having a good time, and they're, well, they're all here. will be kicking themselves as they get their head 4 3, now 30 on to girl service game. Miss those couple of returns as you highlighted, Wally. Seems inevitable, doesn't it? Super tie break to decide a tie here at the United Cup in Sydney. Yes, the Greeks have rather lost control of the second set. A very good breakup in the first to see it. Looks as if it's all changed here on the Ken Rosewell Arena. Team Chile have given themselves a chance and we will go to the super tiebreaker. One set on. did it again. Everything was going along wow. swimmingly until she fired it at the net player. Now, why? <laughs> she's getting a right telling off from you, isn't she? <laughs> no, but do you agree? Why? No. I mean, she's holding her own beautifully. 
with Barrios Vera. Just, just keep going. Just wait for the right ball. And a half Thank we've been going in Thank this you. deciding mixed doubles. Greece taking on Chile. Suan, team Chile. You can see, Sam, it's winners aren't the story. It's the unforced errors. Keep those to a minimum in this tense situation of a super tie break and you're a shot. Once it's again, it's the player that tries to change the line of flight and go to the net player that makes a hash of it. team looking to change the play, trading for the back, and then maybe throwing up the lob and, and, and finding a, a way to get forward. To create angles or, yeah, yeah as you say, a way it, to get it's forward. It's just been straight up and down and then try and take the ball down the line at the net player. That's, that's tactically, both teams have been very similar out here. Good height, isn't it, on the forehand from Seguel, just tossing it up, well, plenty of spin, depth. Two, that was hard to deal with because, of course, Sakari then is aware that Barris Vera is looking to get involved at the net. So that was that was a nice play from Seguel. Change ends for the first half. It's Corrado can reach at 10 and take home the spoils. And there's quite a din here now in the in the Ken Rosewell Arena. Just thinking, Wally, the, the era of Rosewell and Lever and Emerson, they would have loved this competition, wouldn't they? Decided on the mixed. Yeah, well, they probably would have had Margaret Court in yes. the corner. Wouldn't have been too bad for it. Or, or Yvonne. Yvonne Gouligan. Yeah. <laughs> Leslie Hunt, Bowery. Yeah. Worked a little bit of that, that time because she was making her way forward to Four the net from the back of the court, Sigel, so she hadn't really closed the net down. And Sakari, on this occasion, you can see she's making her way forward, doesn't really commit. She's sort of at the service line, almost body weight hesitating. So if you are going to go at the net player, that's OK. In that Thank situation. you. Thank and not you. They're hovering on top of the net. The eye formation. it count this time pretty impressed with Barris very hasn't really put a foot wrong has he playing the best tennis of his career just poised outside the world's top 100 currently in singles not a player that we've seen too much of on the main tour oh well oh, oh, oh. and just grabs his lower back Chile. 
So, of course, the big problem when your back is not right for whatever reason, it tends to go to spasm mm -hmm. to protect it. And that, he just kind of grabbed for the lower left of his back after that second serve. Up. It's there, is there, isn't it? He's got the double Team fault. Chile. We can possibly blame that on a little pinched nerve in the back, and potentially for Stefanos. Nice return. Just can't make those unforced errors in these type of situations. This ball is the one that goes in. Thank you. keep this group alive well they have to just tell themselves one of these two points together we'll be serving next just as returners let's get one of these two Well, that's brave from Tsitsipas, had to get involved, and he did. Time to just run quick. Seguel a little bit by surprise with the first volley. Their unbeaten record in jeopardy here, Tsitsipas and Sakari. Chilean fans making their presence felt. Does that elevate you or put pressure on you? Depends on your personality, a little, really. A little of both, yeah. potentially. Big moment for these two. If you're an extrovert, you love it. If you're an introvert, it's sort of feel like someone's standing on your shoulders. All right. Take one of them, and they will keep their hopes alive in this group. Can the underdogs Thank you. really bring Thank off you. the upset? Oh, can you believe it? She almost had to hit that ball with some elevation because Barris Vera didn't continue across the court. He sort of stayed where he was, and so he hit him in the back of the head. So she tried to hit the ball with a bit of flight and carried it long. Match point saved by a tie break, uh, by a net court, I should say. Miguel moved forward, which is admirable, but Barrisberry just had to go one more ball back 
to the baseline player here to give Sigel a chance to establish net position. So you can see she goes forward, but he goes in that player, but she's not at the net. Just put her in a tough situation. Probably should have made it. A little bit of tension, possibly. Oh, last night. Thank you. Team Germany had Thank match you. points over France and ended up losing in the match tiebreaker. Contest, Sabrell and Barrio Ferrer, they win 6-7, 6-3, 10-8 in the match point breaker. And it is pandemonium here from the Chilean fans. victory over the Greeks and whatever happens to this team this year at the United Cup where they get in or out of this group this is a moment that they will savour wonderful for Daniela Segel who's had so much heartbreak throughout her career suspect the celebrations will go on long into the evening. It is a very happy new year for Team Chile. The Greeks are slightly shell-shocked. They'll have to come back against Team Canada to keep their hopes alive. And we worry a little for Stefanos. for those thoughts that if we will see him again out on court this week. It will be Team Chile that will take all the headlines uh, from this day session. Croatia and the Netherlands face off tonight. They'll begin their campaign in about... Uh, Half an hour, 40 minutes or so, but uh, in the meantime, let's hear from Thomas, and he's going to be joined with Daniela, and they are with Wally, they can, oh. if they can hear anything. Team Chile, what an effort, what an upset. They are undefeated in United Cup play, and you've rolled them. How does it feel? Yes, amazing, amazing. We've, it's our second match as a team, so we're super happy. Thanks for for the Chilean people, for the support, amazing. Gracias. So it's feel great, of course. I was going to ask you the, the tension of the super tie break, the tension of mixed doubles. How important is it you've got Jaime Fio, his presence, the team, the passion of the team, the passion of the fans. How important is that for you out here on court? <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, we're trying to, to have, to have, to have fun, of course, point by point, it's really amazing to take the victory, the first victory as, as a team with, with Chile. You seem to play great doubles, like you didn't overplay, you really understood the court, you know, Team Greece made a few unforced errors when maybe they shouldn't, and you kept very calm. Yeah. So you've enjoyed a very successful year, you're on the cusp of top 100, so that form is carrying you through. Yeah, what I say, we try to, to have fun, to why uh, to be point by point, and, and it worked. I say we're happy. Well, well done. It worked beautifully. You're on the board, you're in the mix. We'll see what happens with Croatia and the Netherlands. So let's see, let's see. Thanks. Well done. Congratulations. Yes, I hope they're going to certainly uh, enjoy this one. And it will be fascinating to see who will come through this group B. Canada with certainly a lot of work to do and also the Greeks as well but uh, that might be the last we see of the Chileans who knows it 
could possibly go to a count back. It's the winner of each of the six groups that goes through to the quarterfinals, plus the best two runners up. And it's all about percentage of games won, percentage of sets, and it may even come down to head to head. But right now, they won't care anything about all that. They are just uh, delighted to give their fans something to celebrate. Amongst all the excitement, we'll uh, have a little look at some cold, hard numbers. And what they tell us. Is that the Greeks had so many opportunities, all those break points, and they failed to take them. A lot of mistakes as well from Maria and Stefanos. And in the end, uh, it was... Uh, one or two mistakes to uh, many. So confirmation of the results. It's Segel and Babos Beda who win in two sets and a match tiebreak. So let's update you with all the results from today's play. It was Maria Sakkari who rather outclassed Daniela Segel in the opening women's singles. And then there was a fabulous match between Nicola Shari, the Chilean number one, and Stefanos Sakalaridis, who uh, stepped in for the other Stefanos Tsitsipas. And a uh, player ranked way, way down in the 400s did very well to push it all the way. And then delight for the Chileans with their win on debut here at the United Cup. So this is how Group B looks at the moment. Of course, Chile having played those two matches uh, sitting on top of the board. Work for both Canada and uh, Greece to do if they have any chance of qualifying. So this is what we have for you tonight. Uh, the Netherlands uh, taking on the Croats, the Croats just edged out against Norway yesterday. Heartbreak uh, for Eva Moly and her team. They'll look to come back strongly, but it is a very tough uh, Dutch side, particularly in the doubles with Schurz and Kulhoff. Kulhoff, Wesley Kulhoff, the playing captain. So very much hope you've enjoyed all the tennis so far here from the Sydney Olympic Park. And uh, a little way away, it'll be the night session. We look forward to seeing you then.